they have so break. far, yeah. everything is so <gasps> broken. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking cute. So um, you can only go three to five miles an hour through reindeer. What is it called? Reindeer forest. Reindeer road. Reindeer road. <laughs> and <laughs> reindeer forest. But it's huge. There's so much lights. It's so freaking cute. This guy was just dancing. <laughs> Here, babe, record while we're going through. It's a little house. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the North Pole. He wanted camera time, babe. We didn't give him any camera time. I saw. It looks cool on camera too. Uh, yeah. And the, like, can you imagine how long it probably takes people to set this stuff up? To set this up, but to also make them. What's up, guys? It's Sammy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Today, I am going home. I'm flying home later tonight. The dogs got picked up this morning, which I was uh, like really anxious about. I always get anxious when they leave me for a long period of time and driving them back to the other side of the country without me because obviously we can't talk to each other and I can't tell them what's happening and they can't tell me what's happening so it makes me nervous. They left this morning so they're on their way. They'll probably get to Pennsylvania around like Tuesday morning or maybe Tuesday night. I'm taking a red eye so I leave really late tonight at like 11.30 and then I get there at 7.30 in the morning East Coast time. I am gonna take you guys with me today to do some shopping, to drop off some stuff, some last minute errands to do before I head home. So um, let's, let's start our day. I'm really not feeling too well, guys. I don't know, my head hurts, my stomach hurts. I look sick, like I look pale. I look really, really pale. I have a pimple, I'm just not, it's just not a good day. But I'm hoping after running some errands and um, I have to go do some shopping. I'm hoping that once I do that, maybe it'll uplift my spirits a little bit. Spence and I are going to go get food at, like, my favorite restaurant in Beverly Hills. Maybe that'll make me feel better. Um, I don't know. I just feel like blah today. So bear with me, okay? Hey, how was your day? I haven't felt good all day. Uh, it's okay. So, dropped off the Forever 21 bags to Courtney, my manager, because I don't want to keep any of them. I have enough clothes that I don't need. Sure. Then, we went out to eat in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Via Laura. We went to Via Laura, which is my favorite restaurant. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can really hear me, but... This is my first time flying first class. That's my sister. Say hey, sissy bud. Um, it's my first time flying first class, like on my own budget, like me paying for it. And I got a lay flat seat because y'all know I get anxiety really, really bad on airplanes. So I was like, you know what, let me just splurge. I'm going home for a whole month and I'm gonna be working while I'm at home and I won't be spending any money. So like, <laughs> why not spend the money so I can just make it back? But I'm really, really excited. Look at it. But yeah, so we get a whole bunch of light room. Holy shit. Like so much light room. Oh, it opens all the way up. Oh, there's like a footrest under here. And then this opens up into a table. Like a full out table that I can like eat on, I guess. All right, guys, I will check in with you when I am finally in Philadelphia. Um, what time do I land? In PA, 7.30. So it's like a little bit, a little bit more than four hour flight. 
which isn't too bad. Right? Yeah, it's not bad. We take off at 11:45 and we land at 7 like 30, but we always land earlier. So 7:30, 6:35, 34:30. So yeah, it's like a little bit over four hours. Hey guys, I didn't check in with you guys when I landed because I was so tired. What was the first thing we did when we got here? Oh, I had to eat, I was starving. So I, um, mm. I ate eggs. What, I wasn't gonna say I made it. Mm. Uh, okay, somebody wants to make a cameo to let <laughs> everyone know that she's the one that made me I did it. Eggs and what else? They're never gonna know. Eggs and uh <laughs> and everything bagel. Okay, get that out. It's someone's camera shy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I I ate breakfast and then I went to my Airbnb and it was a shit show. The Airbnb was not that it was nothing like the listing, but it was nothing like listening. <laughs> Basically, they made it seem like it was a lot more private than it was. And, like, I would have been staying there by myself. And I'm just a little girl. And there was no privacy. There was, like, they made it seem like it was, like, closed off doors to the upstairs. And, like, there was an upstairs and a downstairs. But there was a common area. And I literally could walk. I, like, walked in through the entrance that it said to walk in through because it was contactless and I, there was their living room right there like i could see everything and the bathroom and shower that i would be using was in the hallway and like the washer and dryer was right next to the bathroom so like say i'm coming out of the bathroom out of the shower here's this man or a woman whoever lived in the house right there i don't know i just didn't feel comfortable and then the privacy doors that they had were glass doors so like I wouldn't even be able to walk around like shorts and a bra if I wanted to because they could look right in. Also, it made it seem like they had a private backyard for like the dogs. That was one of the main reasons that I picked it because I could really care less about the inside. But realistically, I want a lot of space for the dogs and have them run around. And it was open. It was like an open forest. Like my dogs wouldn't have been able to run around and they didn't show pictures of what it looked like they only showed pictures of one specific part of their backyard and it looked secluded it looked like it was just a private back area and i was like oh that's cute the dogs would have a cute little area to run around whatever they didn't so i expressed to them that i wasn't comfortable i literally walked in and walked out i didn't like we didn't touch anything um but yeah i expressed to them that i didn't feel comfortable they totally understood and they gave me a full, complete refund, which was really, really great. But now we're on the lookout for a different place to stay in. But everything is really difficult because a lot of places aren't allowing animals. And everything is, like, in the, in the heart and center of Philadelphia, like, the actual city. And I wanted to stay out, like, in the outskirts. So we're looking. We've been looking for the past couple hours through Airbnb and Verbo, but I'm not having much luck. What? I'm singing. Okay. I'm just saying. So. <laughs> wait, do it again. Nope. If you love me, please. No, no, no. Please, 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 if you love me, do it again. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, hold on. Let it do. Do it again. Nice. She wants to be in the camera, but like doesn't want to be in the camera at the same time. Like she wants the spotlight, but like wants to act bashful. Um, but so we're gonna continue looking. I am going to close out this vlog because I will have more things for the rest of the week for you guys, and I don't want to make this too long. I don't think it's that long. I'm not really sure. I don't even know what I've recorded over the past couple of days to make this vlog. But I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment down below. And I will see you guys. Bye. Maybe. You like that, didn't you? No. Mm -hmm. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow or maybe in two days. I'm not sure. Because so far, I've posted every two days for Vlogmas. I thought I was going to have every day, but I did vlogmas day two vlogmas day four today is vlogmas day six so 
here we are. I'm gonna post this today. And then we'll see. We'll see what I just got a notification on Virgo. Oh yeah, what'd they say? We charge $15 per pet per night. However, there should only be two small pets with a maximum weight of 80 pounds combined. The owner is responsible for the damage that might occur on the couch or furniture caused by the pet. Please let me know if you have any questions or need additional information. That's my biggest problem. Everyone is saying that they allow pets, but it has to be two small pets that combine to be 80 pounds when King alone weighs 80 pounds. Can't you lie? Can I lie? <laughs> and then just walk up in this place with a Great Dane? <laughs> well, you don't know. Some people are tall, but just very small, petite. And then what? I'm just going to roll Ace in? He's another 60, 40 pounds. It's 120 pounds. They don't know. They're not going to have a scale. Minimum. Inside. Basically, they're, bi they're biased. They want small dogs, not bigger dogs. So I'm screwed. And my poor dogs are just going to be here. I'm going to have to have... <laughs> there was a bus that I could rent <laughs> on Airbnb. Why don't we just go find a, like a... A tent? And I'll sleep outside with them? No. An RV and we'll pull it up in the... Like National Lampoon's Christmas. No, absolutely not. Uh -huh. Alright, guys. I'm closing out. I will see you in two days. I will see you tomorrow. I will see you in two days. One of those.